Dreallday.com. Dreallday.com. Topic of this video is peace is protected by war. Now I'm recording this video on the Sunday of Memorial Day weekend. So by the time y'all see it, it'll probably be after Memorial Day. But I was talking to a, a business partner of mine. She's a she comes from a military family, which I do not. But she has said to me, like Dre, you know, over Memorial Day weekend, you know, you should have a thought or an idea for, you know, the veterans and the people who go out and fight for our freedoms because, you know, some of the coaching programs I have, we have younger people in there. We got people in there who are in there, even people in their teens, and we got some people in their 20s. She's like, you got to understand, you know, people go off to war and fight and risk their lives to protect our freedoms. They are babies, they're kids, and you should... Bad music guy driving a windmill. It's crazy loud out here. But anyway, he was. She was explaining to me or emphasizing to me that these people. I can't record. I can't close this. <laughs> Only thing about driving is way too much noise. But anyway, the whole point here, and this is something that I said a long time ago. This is not a new idea to me, but I'm thinking about it today just because of what uh, she has said to me and because of Memorial Day, so it's perfect timing, is that the freedoms that we have here in the United States of America, even those of you who you know you go out and protest against America, you kneel, you um, don't stand for the national anthem, you don't want to show respect to the flag, whatever. I mean, I've, I've published my thoughts on those things and the people who are doing them and the uh, alleged ideas and alleged thoughts behind them. We're not going to rehash that here in this video. I will talk about it again in the future, though. You can find me talking about it in other material out here. The whole point is the truth and the fact that we all have the freedom to have those beliefs, if you have them, and you got the freedom to oppose those beliefs, if you choose to oppose is all based on one thing. The fact that America is, as they say, land of the free, home of the brave. We are a country where you have the freedom to polit politically do whatever you wanna do. If you want to be completely against certain ideas and certain groups, you could be against the cops and live in America. You could be against the military living in America. You could be against the, the president. You could be against certain uh, politicians political parties and political leanings and you have 100% freedom and right to do so here in America. You have the freedom to be uh, gay, uh, you got the freedom to be LGBTQ, whatever those letters stand for these days. You got the freedom to do all that here in America and you are protected by the First Amendment to be those things even if somebody else hates it and disagrees with it and thinks you are going against a certain religion or going against the Bible or you are immoral, they can think that, but you have a legal right to continue being who you want to be here in America. Any of you who's from another country, I know some of you who are watching this are not in the United States, so you're not from here, but any of you who either is not from here or you've ever traveled, any of you, especially those of you who are well-traveled, you've been to other countries, and those of you who are from outside the United States watching this, you all understand very well that in other countries, you're gay, you're anything LGBTQ, whatever those letters, you're any of those things out in the open, or even if somebody suspects that you're one of those things, you can lose your life for that. Literally, you can be killed for that. You could be attacked for that. You could be excommunicated from your family for that. You could be kicked out of whatever group, whatever team, uh, you can't join the military. You couldn't work at certain jobs. All of these things happen to you because you're part of those groups. Whereas here in America, there are entire movements where com corporations and companies are being forced to hire people from those groups just because. So, so for you, those of you who live here and don't understand, you haven't traveled a lot, to understand the kind of freedom that you have in America is it's unprecedented. I know people from countries where you're gay you get beat up every single day. Every time you leave the house, you get beat up. You get killed. Your family is kicking you out. They force you to stay in the closet your entire life, let alone until you turn you know, 15, you decide you're, you're a boy, you want to be a girl. No, nah, your whole life, you got to stay in the closet. So uh, what we have here in America is an unprecedented freedom to uh, be who you want to be and be as 
you are. And I'm just using that as an example, but there are all the other you know, leanings and ways of living and mindsets, lifestyles, etc. We have all of that here in America. And the reason that we have it is because if we have a very strong military that will defend us if any other country tries to come in and do something against us. And because we have that strong military, other countries don't mess with us, at least not in a direct, you no know, covert, overt way. And that's how we have our freedom. And that's why you're allowed to be who you want to be, do what you want to do, you know, say what you want to say, even if you happen to say something that the powers that be don't like. Not that they can't do anything, but for the most part, you have uh, freedom and sovereignty to say whatever you want here in the United States of America. And that is all protected by the freedom that we have in this country. And that freedom is defended by the fact that we're willing to go to war and we're capable of going to war. What does that have to do with all of you? Well, that point alone is that could be the whole point. But a bigger point that I want you all to understand is actually more of a micro point. Is that for you? Whatever it is that you want to do in life, whatever you want the freedom to do, to say, to think, how you want to live, how you want to be, etc. All that is defended by, all that is protected rather by one thing. Your willingness to fight for it. Your willingness to go to bat for it. Now, anything you're not willing to fight for or go to bat for or uh, just put something on the line for can and will be taken from you. And that's just the truth. The freedom that we have here in America can and will be taken away from us if we lost our willingness and our capability of going to war to defend it. America is free because we're willing to fight and we can fight. It's one thing to be willing to fight. It's another thing when you can fight. There's a war right now, Russia against Ukraine. Ukraine couldn't defend themselves. America's put more money into the Ukraine war than Ukraine did. America didn't put any, more, any money into it. Then Ukraine would have been taken over by Russia. They probably wouldn't even been a war. It wouldn't even been a fight. It would have been over. But that's a different conversation for a different day. But it fits into what I'm talking about right here. <clears throat> Whatever you want, and I talk to entrepreneurs every single day. You want to be, you want freedom as an entrepreneur, and a lot of entrepreneurs want freedom. They may say that they want money. I want to make a hundred thousand dollars a year. I want to make ten thousand dollars a month. I want to take care of my family. I want to do what I want to do. The reason why people want to make a certain amount of money, usually in America, is because that money to them, that number, represents a certain amount of autonomy. Represent, represents a certain amount of freedom. It represents your ability to do what you want to do, say what you want to say, not have anybody tell you what to do, not have anyone hold anything over your head. You don't have to take orders from anybody. You don't have to kind of be underneath anybody's thumb. That's the freedom that we all want. That freedom that you want is defended by one thing, your willingness to fight for it. And as an entrepreneur, that's what we do every day. We go out and fight for what we want. And that's why we have the freedom to do what we want to do. Those of you, at least those of you who are indeed entrepreneurs. But you got to be willing to go to bat for the things that you want. If you're not willing to go to bat, then uh, you're not going to get the things that you want. So what I want you all to think about, Memorial Day is probably already done by the time you watch this video. But it doesn't mean you can't show respect to the people who have, uh, who do and have laid down their lives to defend us and also yourself what do you want and how much fight are you willing to put up to defend it with all that said text me so you can get my daily motivation for free every single day straight to your phone my number is 305-384-6894 every day when that daily motivation text comes out you'll be getting it free straight to your phone and work on your game university.com those of you who are entrepreneurs and you want to create that freedom for yourself and you just want some guidance on how exactly to do it when it comes to your mindset when it comes to an actual game plan, when it comes to having a process and a system, and then holding yourself and being held accountable to execute, go to work on your game university. That's where you can work directly with me, be coached by me on doing this. I have group programs where I help people with these kind of things. So go to work on your game university.com and let's get the work on you putting up the fight you need to put up so you have the freedom that you want in your life. That's again at work on your game university. Work on your game. Dre all day. Yeah.